my name is Lauren Kennedy, and I'm playing Ava Peron at uh, Casa Mignana's production of Evita. I have. 17 years ago. I was 20 years old. That's right, I'm 37 now. Um, and I, uh, I, I was in college. Actually, it was after my second year of college, right before I went off to do Sunset Boulevard. And um, I was actually with Wally when he ran the North Carolina Theater in um, Raleigh, North Carolina, which is my hometown. And Wally and I grew up together. And um, they, he and his mom cast me, and it was an amazing experience. But I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to do it again. Well, they've, I mean, the, the 17 years that I've lived since then has informed the role so much. But it's amazing how the muscle memory, like so much of what I did the first time comes right back to at the same time. Um, but we just did our first design and run through yesterday and um, it was so fun. It, I'm, I'm living it in a different way than I did the first time because I think I was just so nervous the first time to prove myself and now I'm just loving getting to play this incredibly complex character and, um, and I feel more relaxed about the vocal um, challenges of it. So there's a lot more joy this time around strangely, even though she was sort of very passionate and you know volatile and fiery human being. I, I'm enjoying doing that more than I did the first time. Part of what the, the whole debate of the show that um, Tim Rice and Angela Weber wrote was this fantastic debate between doing something good and what you do to make that good happen, whether it's got its moral, you know, um, justifications or not. I think what the the device of Ava Perone in this production is to say, hey, listen, you know, you may have thought of me as this, but I really, you know, I really intensely felt it was necessary, and she justifies her own behavior throughout the whole show, um, and I, I think it's fantastic to play somebody who was whose you know critics and fans were so diverse I mean there was not no one in the middle they either loved her thought she was a saint or she was the devil this is the best thing he ever wrote um, it, it was totally the pinnacle like he had been working up to it I mean I'm not saying it's his masterpiece because maybe he has one still left in him but um, I definitely think it was at that point in his life where he had had a little bit of success um, and then was trying new things and really doing crazy stuff with melodies and harmonics. I just think the score is mind-blowingly amazing, you know, and it's truly an opera.